Madam Chair, and I want to thank you for having this hearing. Um, coming from, I'm, I'm a builder by trade, so um, uh, I appreciate, I feel your pain, all of you. I've uh, been in the framing business also. Um, let me say this, and, and Madam Chair, you ask about uh, a question. There are builders out there right now that have qualified buyers, pre-sale contracts that cannot get any loans to build a house. And so Ms. Vaughn was talking about going out on a job. Uh, her builder may have contracted, uh, told her that he had a pre-sale. Uh, they're expecting to frame it. Uh, and then he can't get the construction loan. And this is a qualified buyer. Uh, and Mr. Confora, I know uh, from a real estate standpoint, when you sell a house and expecting to get a commission and uh, the builder can't even get a loan to build it, uh, it is quite bad. And let me say this. I hope that we will uh, continue the uh, tax credit of $8,000, but I hope we will expand it to an anytime buyer. When we did cash for clunkers, it was $4,500, and I think the maximum a car could cost was 45000 which is a 10%. Uh, tax credit or really go toward a purchase. An $8,000 tax credit uh, on an $80,000 house, and there's just not that many $80,000 houses out there. I don't know what the average sales price is for a house, but if it's $160,000, let's say, which is probably low, uh, you can see that there's just not the same percentage there that there is uh, for somebody in this, you know, the cash for clunkers. So I think it needs to be to an anytime home buyer. But that is only a small part to me that needs to be helped. It is a credit issue uh, that we have right now. Even if the tax credit was $20,000 to anybody, we're not sure uh, what it would do to, to help because the builder may not be able to get the, the money to do it. So. Well, I appreciate what Mr. Robson said about the inventory, and that sounds about the, the numbers that I've heard, too. Even if we got all those houses off the market with some type of tax credit, we're not sure that the real estate business would, or, the, or the construction business would still be cranked up. Because if credit is still frozen, it, it's not going to start back. And I'd like to, to ask Mr. Confora an, another statement about the RESPA and the HVCC and the TILA. Uh, these are more regulations that's going into effect that is possibly going to uh, uh, slow down the, the, the home building business in itself. And these are just government regulations that are going into effect. Could you comment on those? Yes. Uh, again, you know, every I see the need for that, and the discussion to revise RESPA has been going on for how many years? Uh, forever. Uh, but I don't think that this is the right time. Okay, all it can do is just slow down things. It's, uh, well, it certainly can't expedient the um, the selling process. Well, I believe that we need to have consumer protection. Yes. But I've been to many real estate closings where the attorney hands the. Uh, purchaser a piece of paper and say, you know, here's a security deed. I have yet to have anybody read all the paperwork. So having additional paperwork there for somebody to sign, to me, is not real consumer protection. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of the programs HUD and others offer where they can go to a pre-buying session uh, is, is much better than some of the additional paperwork uh, that they're adding. One other uh, quick comment uh, on the HVCC. I noticed you mentioned a part of that that uh, concerned me. I think you or Mr. Robson one did. The fact that the lender have an ownership position in that appraisal business, that is, yeah. that is definitely not the way to go. Yeah, and, and that's exactly how we see that there should not be a lender having a, any process in the AMC at all. And, uh, and we also feel that there should be a state regulation okay, as we move forward. States should start regulating the uh, AMCs of their state because there is a big difference between each state and it's, it's not the same and it does need state uh, uh, supervision. So uh, uh, we certainly would like to see that uh, moved in that direction. Well, I, I'm, I'm trying to put together a piece of legislation now that will address uh, some of the um, the lending as it comes to the uh, acquisition, development, and construction uh, of some of the community banks where we're having the most problem. And so I would welcome the input of any of your organizations 
uh, into what we're trying to do. And uh, any member, uh, Madam Chair, that's on this committee that would be interested in doing that because I honestly believe until we get that addressed, this uh, first-time home buyer credit will pay, will be good, but it will be a very, very small part. But with that, Madam Chair, I yield back.